Hey there, I'm Bairge, this is Technability, and what we have here is a Samsung Galaxy Express running CyanogenMod Mod 10.1. Uh, this is the latest version of the unofficial CyanogenMod Mod 10.1 for the Galaxy Express for AT&T. So this is the AT&T version, it's not the, uh, it's not the international version. You can see the AT&T banding right there up top. Okay, so basically 4.2.2. Alright, so this is stock uh, Android with uh, CM10 flavor. And basically installing this uh, is, is kind of a uh, pain, I suppose. There's a few steps that you have to take in order to root it and then install super user. I mean, it's not that hard, actually. Uh, you have to install the drivers. That could be through Samsung Keys. And then you have to uh, download the unofficial build of this ROM. And of course, at that point, you have to um, install GAPS, which is Google Apps. So what I'll do is I'll post a how-to below for all you guys with the Galaxy Express who are looking to root it and install this ROM, or any ROM for that matter, just uh, looking to root the device. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features. If we go to settings here, you can see, of course, you get all the CM features, such as launcher. Uh, you got the home screen features, which you can change the grid size, the number of home screens. You could stretch the screens, which basically uh, takes the icons and uh, fits it to the aspect ratio of the display. You could change the transition effects. There's various different transition effects. So let's say I do stack here. Uh, you could do scroll wallpaper, or, you know, you could uh, not have scrolling wallpaper really it's up to you let's just turn that off for now show you guys how that works uh, you have a page indicator option so I can remove that if I want to I could turn that back on of course you have app drawer options so you can do orientation choose which way the drawer scrolls hidden apps uh, jo join with apps in terms of the widgets uh, which is basically the secondary uh, notifications when you open the notification drawer uh, you got transition effects with the scrolling of the app drawer you got indicator whether or not you want to show the indicator a lot of features here you got features with the dock as well uh, pages, icons, etc. So if you want to add pages to the dock, you can just swipe them over and add pages there. Uh, generals basically auto rotate, uh, lock home screen and full screen mode. Uh, you have lock screen options as well, various lock screen options to add widgets. Of course, there are lock screen widgets. Let's go ahead and show you guys the lock screen widgets here. Okay, you can see these work perfectly fine. You can add lock screen widgets. If I swipe this way, you get the camera. All right, so the lock screen widgets are available. And you have the shortcuts there as well on the lock screen. Let me show you guys the shortcuts here. So you have different shortcuts. These are customizable. All right, so you got various lock screen options. You got themes, which you can download from the Play Store. There's plenty of free themes that are available in the Play Store. You can download those if you want to make it look like anything, literally. I mean, there's so many different themes. So check those out there in the Play Store. Just type in signage and modern CM10 themes, and they should show up. Now, the system options are where it gets really interesting. Uh, you have status, status bar options. Uh, you have uh, various different status bar options in terms of changing the clock, putting a uh, percentage there. So if I go to battery style here, I could change it to circle with percentage. And now basically I have the uh, percentage up there. So you can also do AM, PM on the clock. Uh, if you go here to AM, PM style, you could do a small AM, PM on the clock. You can see that right there. All right, you got quick settings panel, obviously, which is the secondary. You can customize that add and remove as you so please. You got notification drawer options, uh, expanded desktop, power menu, um, power menu which would be this, so you can actually add things there, remove things there. Clock widget, notification light, hardware keys, Okay, so a lot of options here and that's what CM is all about. Sign Engine Mod is all about the options and obviously you have all other uh, stock Android settings here. Of course you have super user down here, all right, so that's where super user is going to be located. If you're looking for developer options, if you go to about phone, just keep clicking on build number, you will have enabled developer options, so they're right there. And if you want to speed up your phone, um, if it, you know if you want to make it any faster than this is than this already is, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, you could change the transition speeds to 0.5, and that would speed it up just a little bit more. But in any case, this is a very, 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 very fast ROM. Uh, this the Galaxy uh, Express is a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. It's got a 800 by 480 display, 4.5 inches. Uh, it's almost like the mid-range, it's almost like an S2 with S3 uh, internals, but it's only got a gig of RAM. Um, really, it's a pretty solid phone for what it is and how much, it, you know, you could buy this for on and off contract, uh, the international and the AT&T version, but it's a very fast phone. I mean, this is just basically first, first boot, so just literally installed this, and you could see scrolling through screens and scrolling through the app drawer and opening applications it's very fast okay if I want to move this widget here I could do that if I want to take an app and put it in another app create a folder name the folder okay open the web browser here 
Okay. One of the issues that I'm having, um, and and this build that I flashed here is supposed to have fixed this, is for whatever reason Wi-Fi doesn't turn on. That could be a bad flash. I tried reflashing it a few times, and I still get this issue. Uh, so I'm gonna look into to to fix to this. But the developer uh, when he when he basically pushed out this update, which is the 8, 12, August 12 update, uh, states that the Wi-Fi does work now. So I am having that issue, but I, hope, I think there is a resolve for it. I'm sure there is. If I just go on XDA and do a little search, uh, I could probably locate that. Or if you guys know how to resolve that, hey, let me know in the comments below. Right, you got the camera, of course, which functions fine. You can see the camera. There's the front facing. Okay, and I could just go ahead and go to rear here. Okay, so there's the rear camera. All right, so you have camera, and you have uh, panorama, and you have video, of course. If you swipe over, you got all your pictures right there. Uh, you got the sharing options right up here, which uh, sync, obviously, with third-party apps. Of course, you have filters as well, and uh, different editing options. So you can see the filters right here, various different editing options. You also have Apollo, which is Cyanogen Mods Music Player, so that comes with it as well. Uh, file Manager, which is Cyanogen Mods File Manager. And gaps, when you install Google Apps 4.2.2, uh, you're going to get all the basic apps here. So Play Store, Gmail, uh, Maps. Oh, no, you don't even get Maps. Okay, so Calendar, Talk, etc. So you're going to have to download Hangouts and everything else through the Play Store uh, manually. So FYI on that. Now, if I want to just take a widget here. Say calculator, put it right here. There's my calculator. Now here's an issue when you first flash this ROM, or in almost every CM ROM, uh, you get a force close when you try to click here. You see that? You try to go to Google now, force closes. There's an easy fix for that. Immediately after flashing it, log, um, sign into your account, go into the Play Store, and update search. All right, see now if I click in the search box, it works. If I click on the little microphone, um, you get a force close. So if you go and update search through the Play Store, that will be resolved. You can see obviously the multitasking, instead of having to do them one by one, you, know, you can't do them by, by twos obviously. You could just push this button right here, that's that. If I hold down, no recent apps. If I double click, nothing happens, but that's customizable. If I hold the uh, menu button, you get Google Now. Hold the back button, nothing happens. But everything is basically very fast. Uh, this is a very fast ROM and that's evident of signage and mod. And CM10 in general is just a very fast ROM. Good keyboard. Fast and responsive keyboard, of course. All right, that doesn't does have swipe. All right, so the keyboard does have swipe. All right, and that's pretty much that on CM10 for the Galaxy Express. Uh, basically, you could download this at XDA. I'll, put, I'll post the download links below. I'll also post the how-to uh, on my site, technability.com, for all you guys who are wondering how to install this. Obviously, you have to go through the root process first, and then you have to go through the process of installing the ROM. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching Technability. Don't forget to subscribe, and check out www.technability.com. Uh, we have original content updated every day, so check that out. All right, thank you guys for watching. Have a safe week.